Hi everyone, this is Monish Ronald and welcome to my channel. Today I shall be telling you about my interview experience with Indigo Airlines for the position of ground staff. So to start with, uh, we were actually called to the interview venue by 9.30 in the morning. So I actually reached uh, pretty early, I reached about 8.45. So 45 minutes I had to do nothing. But then there were a lot of other people standing. I didn't expect so many people to turn up uh, so early. So, but then they were there. So a little background about myself, I have not done any aviation uh, diploma or any, I have not studied in any aviation colleges for the position of ground staff. I know a lot of people do to get in this, but then uh, since the airline is actually going to train you, so you don't have to invest a lot of money in that. So I just thought I'll give it a try and I'll see how if it works out. So I went to the Indigo Airlines website and um, I found out the AOCS, they had an open opening and uh, there was a walk-in actually. So I went and applied in the website but later realized that uh, applying in the website actually does no good. They don't see if you have that uh, application number or anything of that sort. You can actually walk in. The interview was scheduled to start at 9.30 am in the morning. So I reached about 8, uh, 8.45 uh, just to make sure that I'm on time. In case they started early, I just wanted to be on time so I went in time actually. <laughs> so I went in time. A lot of people are actually gathered by that time. I didn't expect a lot of people to stand. Uh, a lot of parents were there and their children were there. The boys to girls ratio would have been equal, maybe. Um, there were around 350 candidates throughout the whole day. They kept coming even after 10 a.m. was the closing time for resume submission. We were asked to give our resumes to a person from Indigo. He actually came around 9.40. So we collected our resumes and we gave it to him. A lot of people actually rushed to him. I didn't actually know the procedures, what to do. So the, a lot of people actually rushed to him. They handed him the resumes. And uh, he actually said he didn't want it now. He wants to go inside the hotel. There's a room allotted to us. Once we go inside that room, uh, we'll start collecting the resumes. So he didn't collect the resumes from anybody at that point. So we actually went into the hotel. They made us sit. And uh, there was a strict warning that was given. There are no fake jobs in Indigo. A lot of people actually are imposters. They pretend to be from Indigo. They charge a lot of money from the people and they actually cheat them. So, which is something that you need to be aware of because uh, you don't have to lose a lot of money. Indigo does not charge for the hotel. Indigo does not charge you anything. Even for the training, I don't think they charge you. So, with that in mind, uh, if you are seeing this video and if somebody is alluring into a job uh, on the pretext of Indigo, must be aware because indigo does not do that yeah you have to go inside the website and there's only a walk-in they don't actually also call you before the interview just to check or whatever the resume collection started by 10 a.m and uh, the hr was actually there to collect the resume so we are actually made to sit in rows so when the hr actually came to collect the resumes he looked at each one of us like you now what we were wearing and what uh, how we are physically present and uh, when he saw some boys with beards, he immediately pulled them out. He asked them to either leave and come for the next walk-in or go right now and shave and come. So boys, if you're watching this, please don't go for an Indigo interview with beards because you'll be asked to leave or you'll be uh, asked to come for another date, uh, which is something that you'll like to avoid because uh, it's a lot of time waste actually. And uh, Muslim boys were allowed to keep their beards if they provided a valid explanation. The month I went was during the month of Ramadan. so. Uh, they were actually exempted from once the resume collection was over by the HR we were asked to wait for about uh, one and a half hours to, for them to validate the resumes to see if anyone has come within the six months school off period so to check that it took them about one and a half hours and the procedure actually started from around 11 30 the group discussion actually started from college whenever there's a group discussion uh, i really don't like the idea of group discussion because uh, i've always seen it to be very aggressive uh, i studied in a college where uh, whenever there's a group discussion it actually turns into a group debate it turns into a group argument and there's nothing of that sort to do a group discussion so a lot of people actually get very wild during this group discussion and so when i was in college actually i got selected in a company which didn't have a group discussion uh, i got selected in uh, zoho corporation it's in Guruvanjeri in Chennai, so I was working there for some time. So back to Indigo, we were taken in groups of 31. So 31 people in a group discussion and uh, each group discussion took about one hour. So my slot came in at uh, 1 p.m. and it lasted up to 2 p.m. 
so we were all there inside one big room and there was only one hr present in that room and uh, when i was going inside that room one guy who had actually finished the group discussion was begging for that hr to do some favor or something he was asking like uh, can you please do something i want to be in this and i, I was really afraid like what is happening here this, maybe this uh, hr is very strict or i didn't know like uh, i went and sat there and uh, before the group discussion they actually gave us the resumes back so i actually had to submit the resumes to the hr that was sitting in that room so i was the last last but one to submit the resume so i didn't know this but then uh, he took the resumes and he started calling out the name and to check if everyone is there and once he had done that he gave us a topic the topic was uh, smartphones advantages and disadvantages and how it has improved in india so the order was uh, at the beginning he said uh, if anyone likes to start with you can start i was hesitant for a moment but then i raised my hand but then another guy also raised his hand so he gave his point the hr actually listened to him and then before my turn came he said okay we'll go by the resumes now since i was the last but one to give the person who submitted last was the first person to give the opening so he asked her and she said can you give me 2 minutes of your time and he said like okay it can take your time so she took 2 minutes and by the time i had actually had to prepare for myself also because the next one is pra- me so she gave her opening and uh, i also gave my opening i said about how jio and uh, atel vodafone how they are actually bringing the market and um, what is the market share of all these companies and what they are doing to improve their internet connectivity a lot of people have internet in india and all these things i was talking about 2 minutes or so i think he got really impressed uh, immediately asked for my passport uh, issue date and uh, my date of birth i gave it to him and uh, he actually continued with the rest and uh, i could figure out by the end of the interview that those who were getting selected he asked for the passport uh, issue dates and the date of birth so once they were given the rest of the others were asked to leave and uh, during the gd if you are speaking in tamil uh, it is uh, not uh, taken here because uh, they expect you to speak good english and they are looking for a communication skills actually and uh, during this video also found that a lot of people are not very aggressive yeah they wait for the others to talk and uh, during the time that i actually did a little bit of research on this indigo gd on the internet it said that uh, people don't give equal chances and all that that also made me a little bit afraid but then they actually give you equal chances a lot of people are given a lot of time to speak but if you are talking for too long time the hr actually cuts you in between and they ask you to stop i think uh, that is actually a pretty good because considering the time limit uh, i think everyone has to stick to a time frame so i was probably one of the youngest guys in the room at that point of time because a lot of people had completed their post graduation a lot of people were uh, ex employees of jet airways and uh, spice jet so once the gd actually got over the hr actually called out the names of all those who got selected to my surprise my name was not there uh, when he called out i was like okay maybe i didn't make it this time maybe we have to see so i took all my things i was getting up and the uh, hr saw me is like why are you getting up i said uh, because uh, you didn't call my name and he was like i didn't call your name okay oh sorry that's a mistake uh, your name is here please uh, wait okay okay i'll wait for uh, i'll wait thank you <laughs> then uh, uh, he told me to go outside and have lunch and come by 3 o'clock so i went outside i had lunch and i came by 3 o'clock and now i knew that this was the final round the next round was the final so uh, i was thinking that my slot will come around 4 o'clock maybe because uh, it's already waiting from 9:30 it's a long day sitting and doing nothing for the most part it's actually a bit tiring on your part but then uh, we had to wait and uh, guess what the interview actually came up at 7 7:45 in the night 7:45 in the night it actually overshot the schedule by 45 minutes so the girls were actually called first and each of them had an interview time of around 5 minutes once all those girls uh, interview got over the boys were called in and uh, my name was in the fourth or fifth uh, in that list so i went in and uh, to my surprise again only one hr was present in that room uh, she was a lady maybe she must have been from the department that i was offered i was offered security department so because that's for freshers and i'm a fresher so i was offered the security department she was there she was inside the room she was waiting she was talking to someone um, then i went inside she asked me to sit 
and uh, she didn't ask me any typical questions that were mentioned on the internet like tell me about indigo who is the ceo of indigo no she didn't ask me she just asked me four questions and i read out the four questions uh, she asked me why are you changing your field to aviation because uh, i had done my course in bsw so she asked me she wanted to know why i wanted to make the change and then she asked me why did you take bsw i told her like i wanted to see a change uh, like most people take engineering or doctor so i just thought i'll take bsw and see what happens so she was actually impressed with that idea because i had taken a risk with my life <laughs> and uh, she asked me the next question what do you know about security in aviation uh, i told her security in aviation is very important for, because uh, security deals with the safety of the crew the passengers and the aircraft and finally she asked the biggest question uh, that most people would be stumped at <laughs> the question was tell me an incident where due to security flaw a hijack happened now i was able to answer this question because i follow aviation uh, very closely and i love aviation so i was able to answer this question i told her about it so air india 872 a flight from delhi it was uh, it got hijacked and uh, they asked to release masood azhar and all these people so uh, to save the passengers the crew actually had to do that and um, that's a security flaw but then uh, once i finished telling she said uh, there is a slight mistake in what you are saying hello like, okay and so what is the mistake um, uh, what did you say the flight number was i said air and 872 ic 872 she said no that's uh, ic 814 but i really like the idea of that you are telling some answer i really like that she said okay i think i will uh, done my part i was really happy that day and uh, the interview then got over then i went home and then uh, after 3 days uh, i got the mail from indigo asking to send documents for verification i saw the mail uh, and i was really confused if i had to take up the job or not because uh, a lot of people actually discouraged me from doing that uh, because i was an undergraduate and uh, if you are in india you will know this that you will have to do your post graduation after your undergraduation so due to that i was not able to take up my job uh, i actually had to tell them very politely that i have not be able to take it now and my field of interest in aviation is to be a pilot i've always wanted to be a pilot and uh, i actually had to mail it to them uh, it was very hard doing that uh, but then sometimes you have to take tough decisions uh, but then the interview experience overall was very good so if you have any questions on this indigo interview you can always message me on my instagram i'll leave the link in the description box below go ahead to my instagram account and you can message me i'll reply to you as quick as possible and if you like the video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe share this video with all your friends uh, who are training passionately to be a ground staff i wish them all the best and uh, i hope they find some motivation and some uh, insight into how the process really works for a uh, ground staff and uh, please don't get fooled by any people tra- uh, posing to be from indigo charging you money indigo does not charge you any money whatsoever they don't charge you for the interview they don't charge you for the water that you drink in that hotel and they don't charge you for the training i believe so don't get fooled have your money to yourself enjoy the process say good until next time this is monish ranal thank you hi everyone this is monish ranal and uh, and what a post of ground stuff don't say that the muslim boys were actually allowed to sport their belts provided they provided ne, provided they provided the information group discussions was and i was not really good at group discussions because a lot of people actually overpower you why is this car reversing now? airport experience some had worked in the airport for i don't know what <laughs> i don't know what and some insight into how the process is really how the process is really what